as you are watching Josh Doyle Invest. I have an awesome video today uh, here for you. It's gonna be on the Burr strategy, which is the buy, renovate, rent, uh, and refinance and repeat. Super popular strategy, guys, that I have been implementing. A lot of investors nowadays have been implementing this strategy for multiple reasons. Um, I will touch on how the powerful the strategy is in a separate video because I don't want this to get too lengthy. I think you're gonna see just by looking at the numbers in this video how powerful it can actually be. And that's the whole purpose of this video is to show you the numbers breakdown, not just explain what the strategy is and why and you know how type of thing. I wanna show you the nuts and bolts of the actual strategy so you can kind of get a peek beneath the hood here. So this specific deal, guys, is on a property that I have purchased with partners, uh, joint venture partners, and we have now gone in on this together. I'm the active partner in this deal, and the reason why I am showing you this deal specifically is because we are just about to start renovations on this deal. It is September 13th. The tenants are supposed to be moving out in a few days now. And if you're following me on Instagram, uh, if you know, check me out on Instagram if you're not, <clears throat> but you'll see the progress. I show all the videos, or sorry, I show all the progress updates as, as how I go through these renovations and uh, all, the, uh, all the good stuff, all the bad stuff that goes along with renovating these old century homes and buildings. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into the numbers because I know that's why you guys are all here. So I'll put myself down here in the corner. Okay, so a bit of a backstory. This is a single family century home located in Hamilton, Ontario. We have now purchased this home um, in an amazing location. If you guys know what, my battery is gonna die. If you guys know what Lock Street is, it is a great street in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, we purchased this property for $425,000. Uh, the bank gave us a mortgage for 80% loan to value, which means that we had to put a 20% down payment on this property, uh, meaning that we got a first mortgage for $340,000. We amortized the loan over 30 years, and the interest rate that we got at the time was 3.39%. Interest rates are much better now. You'll see that as we go through this. So our monthly mortgage payment currently is roughly $1,500. Um, I am projecting that the renovation cost is going to be about $125,000 on this property. You see here the down payment that we had to put, which was $85,000. Uh, the closing costs on this deal were roughly $6,000, land transfer tax, lawyers fees, etc. Um, the holding cost that you see here, guys, this is about six months of vacancy, give or take. Um, because the house is obviously going to be vacant as we're going through renovations. So the total cash invested or the total cash required to make this deal work is $228,000. Give or take, guys. The renovation budget could go up a little bit. It could go down a little bit. You need to have a bit of a buffer zone when you're dealing with these century homes and you're going through extensive renovations like we are on a property like this. We, oh, I should have told you, we are converting a single family home into a legal duplex, okay? Two completely separate uh, living dwellings in this property. So once the property is done, guys, I'm projecting that we're gonna be able to get it reappraised at $700,000. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but the market's gone up a lot. The rental income that we're gonna get from this property, you guys will see, is tremendous. And we are in, in an awesome, awesome location that I can easily justify a $700,000 evaluation. So what does that mean? Well, we've increased the value of the property $275,000, right? That's, we bought it at 425 up here at the top. And now we're basically saying it's worth 700. That's an increase of equity of 275 grand. Now, since we are able to increase the value so much, we can go back to the bank and say, Mr. Bank, can you reappraise the property, which they'll say it's worth 700,000. And they're gonna tell me that they will loan me 80% loan to value. So they'll loan us 80% of $700,000, which is $560,000. We then take that $560,000 loan, we have to pay off the initial 
$340,000 loan, right? That's our first mortgage. We are refinancing. We're getting rid of that first mortgage. They're replacing it with the higher amount, which means that we have $220,000 of capital that's basically coming back to us. Now, if we just scroll up here a little bit, you guys remember that our total cash invested was 228,000, right? That's the renovation, the down payment, the closing costs, the holding costs, all of these costs here that you guys see uh, totaled up to 228. Well, we got 220 grand back. This is what I'm projecting, by the way, not saying that this, this has already happened, but this is a deal that we're about to do. Whew. So you can tell I get fired up about this stuff because this stuff is life changing, guys. This is how you retire early. This is how you really put gasoline on a fire and scale your, um, your real estate business, your real estate portfolio. So all that being said, guys, that means that we're getting all our money back except for 8,300 bucks. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, when the property is done, each unit, because I'm offering three bedroom, one bathroom units with in-suite laundry, condo-like living, beautiful, beautiful, with parking guys, right by the GO train, right downtown, amazing location, I know that we're gonna get 2,000 bucks a month for rent, okay? Which is, which is crazy, but rental rates are up and, and uh, the market's hot. So our estimated monthly income or rent is gonna be 4,000 bucks. So our new mortgage payment, guys, is $2,068. Now that is obviously increased from the initial mortgage payment of $1,500. And that is because we have a new higher mortgage amount, right? We refinanced the loan, our mortgage amount got higher, it's now 560 compared to the 340 where it was. So essentially what we're doing here, guys, is since we're adding so much value, so much increase in equity, we're tapping into that equity now. Instead of selling the property and triggering capital gains, instead of uh, just sitting on the property and not using that equity because our return on equity would be terrible, we're tapping into it, we're extracting the value out of the property that we created and we're getting rewarded for doing so. So our new mortgage payment has gone up, right? It's $2,068, but what does that mean, right? We have 4,000 coming in. We got two, you know, just under 2,100 going out on the mortgage payment. I have a breakdown of the expenses. So the property tax, the insurance, the maintenance, you know, cause we always put maintenance aside for, you know, things that happen. We got to paint the place, the toaster, not toaster, uh, you know, an oven breaks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, the monthly gas bill, the hydro and water, we put a little bit of money aside for vacancy because vacancies do happen. It's a rare occurrence in my market, but they do happen. Um, so our total operating expenses, guys, all of these here that I just went through is $902. Well, what do we do? We take our you know, our income and we minus all our expenses. And what we're left here, guys, is over $1,000 a month in cash flow. Okay. Absolutely incredible deal. We only have $8,000 stuck in it, it's stuck in the property, but we're getting over a thousand bucks a month in passive income. Now, or sorry, that is just in cash flow. I'm going to jump over to this uh, tab here just so I can show you guys how the actual investment or return on investment breaks down here. So the principal paid down in the year, in the very first year after completing this project is $13,782. That's how much the tenants are going to pay down the mortgage for us in the very first year. Okay. The cash flow in the very first year, which I just went over with you guys, is still over $12,000. And if we assign a very conservative 2% appreciation on the $700,000 value, we're also going to see an increase in value, minimum guys here, at $14,000. Now, if we just, even if the market went down, we are still gonna get this cash flow and this principal pay down, which if I move my head here, is still equals out to $26,000. Keep in mind that we only have $8,300 left in this deal. So if we factor in these three uh, profit centers here off this deal, that is a total return in year one, guys. Year one after completing the deal, that is, 
of $40,000 on our $8,300 left in the deal. Now, if we divide how much money we have left in the deal into how much money we're gonna be generating from the property, this is a 479% return on investment. So this is why the burst strategy is so important, guys. This is how people are able to fast track their retirement, take their financial independence into their own hands, and really like seriously start generating some like serious generational wealth, okay? Um, you do a couple of these projects and you are on the right track here. That's all I can say. Um, so this is what I focus all my time on now, guys, is finding projects like these, finding deals where I can add so much value to that I can extract some of that value, still hold on to the property because money in real estate is made over time. Um, you know, you can make quick money flipping homes and whatnot, but the real money, guys, is made from cash flow, principal pay down, and appreciation. And those who have the patience and, you know, can stick with it over the long term, it's going to, uh, those are, those are the people that are going to really realize the gains in real estate. So I try not to pay as, you know, I try not to pay capital gains. I try not to sell properties. If you guys enjoyed this video, please destroy that like button for me. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. If you learned something in this video, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I appreciate all your support. Until next time, take care.